One of the most interesting things of the settings to me is I am obsessed with mythology, Roman, Greek, anywhere on the world mythology, but I'm more familiar with Greek mythology seeing as I'm part of, you know, Western civilization. But the thing is, um, there's a lot of parallels within the Warhammer setting to these mythologies. One of the biggest ones that I can think of is the myth of Prometheus. Prometheus was a titan. Um, he was one of the good titans that didn't fight against the gods of Olympus. And he created um, beings out of mud and clay. These beings turned out to be humans. Zeus is like, mm, that's not cool, bro, but hey, I'm not going to do anything. Just don't make them powerful or anything, whatever. And uh, have them sacrifice the best cuts of meat to us. Prometheus is like, that's kind of shitty, dude, but all right. And it happened for a while, then one day Prometheus went ahead and um, went to the gods area and uh, stole fire and gave it to mankind, thus making us really powerful because we get to have mastery over fire. And the punishment for Prometheus was he was to be chained to a mountain and an eagle ripping out his liver every single day, but he would heal. And the process would repeat over and over and over again. How this is similar to the Warhammer setting is because the Emperor of Mankind, when going to create the Primarchs, he had to enter something called the Gate of Molech. And the Gate of Molech led directly to the Realm of Chaos, the Warp. And it is heavily implied and theorized that he had a conference with the Gods of Chaos. And the Gods of Chaos made a bargain with him. And he took that knowledge to make the Primarchs these ultra post-human, not even human, these creatures based off of warp energy, and made them into his generals. And then when the time came for him to repay on his bargain, he just looked at the Chaos Gods and were just like, fuck you guys, not paying. And they're just like, okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, scatter the Primarchs across the galaxy. And then we're like, hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and corrupt one of them in order to go ahead and um, attack the Ember, the Anathema, and put him on the Golden Throne. And that's basically what transpired, is the Golden Throne and the Emperor suffering for 10,000 years, and him being a perpetual, continuously healing himself, is parallel to Prometheus stealing from the gods and being punished by having his liver eaten. I think that is a very good comparison right there and a very good parallel because Prometheus was also a very, very, very smart individual. Same thing with the Emperor. He was incredibly intelligent, terribly intelligent, and they suffered the same fate, really. If I remember correctly, though, in Greek mythology, now go ahead and call me on the comments here if uh, I'm completely wrong on this, but I believe Heracles saved Prometheus from this quote-unquote eternal punishment. Um, I'll have to take a look at that, but this is completely unscripted and just going off the top of my head here. Um, I'm kind of guessing that during the end times for 40k, hopefully it's handled way better than, you know, fantasy at end times, but um, hopefully we get to see a Heracles or Hercules-like figure saving the Emperor, possibly, from this fate. Maybe that figure is maybe Cypher, because, you know, his goal is to get to the Imperial Palace and get an audience with the Emperor. Good luck getting past the Custodes, but hey, he might be the one, and with the Lion returning, he might just tag along with the Lion if, uh, if he's able to get to the Imperial Palace. I don't know. It's just my thoughts on the subject, and I thought it was a really cool and interesting topic to see the parallels between real-world mythology and the setting itself, because basically when you t look at 40k and 30k, or Warhammer in general, it's just a bunch of history and mythology and sci-fi tropes put into a blender and pushed puree. That's it. It's just a mishmash of a whole lot of stuff wrapped into one, which makes the setting so cool and appealing to me on so many different fucking levels. Ah! So cool. Okay, that's all.